Now for a rocket we might as well just start with the barrel capsule and let's be very aerodynamic about it. Let's see now, barrel adapter, ooh, let me just take a look. Okay, so we've got that going for us. And what we need is some sort of cone. No, this is structural, I need... Ah, here we go, barrel cone, barrel cone small, barrel cone small. Do we have an adapter for that? I mean, we've got this big adapter, is there a small adapter as well? Not really. Though I can imagine any number of ways you could uh, figure out how to do that. Well, let's 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 try one. Uh, let's have a square girder. Get that attached properly, and you can you could do something like that with any number of things. Or don't we have an escape system? I think we had one. Launch escape rocket. Okay, well maybe we should just dump all this. What kind of escape rocket do we have? Multiple attachment points on this. Now, we need some way of adapting the two together. Is that a structural part? Or an aerodynamic part? Or does not occur at all. Oh, I forgot to put the lights on the... I always forget the lights. Even on an airship, I forget the lights. Uh... Oh, uh, we, we've got the scientific instruments with this thing, too. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, look at... Voice transmog transmogrification set. Wow. Okay, um... Yeah, uh, I think this calls for a girder. What I really want is, uh, well, a girder adapter is a start. This is a cage. What we really need is a small, oh, spelling error. But, uh, no, that's too big. We need something, no, oh, that's, that's not bad. You're not okay. All right. strut connectors. Maybe that's the right way to go here. Yeah, alright. But really we need some way of decoupling this. What kind of decouplers do we have with this whole system? It's a big decoupler. Ah, we don't have a small decoupler, do we? Monoprop rocket decoupler, nope. Whale rocket decoupler, nope. Oh heck, let's just keep it on. Now I don't think we need a heat shield. We have heat shields for some reason. But we don't have First of all, these don't aren't configured for deadly reentry, and we don't have deadly reentry. So let's just forego that. We'll have reaction control thrusters. Well, I guess they're made out of copper, so it's all right. It doesn't seem like the kind of thing that should be on here. But gyroscopic, yes. I think uh, mark propellant tanks on the gyroscope seems... Oh, actually they fit in. That's satisfactory. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not really taking into account the mass of anything right now. Let's make it somewhat of a mystery whether this thing gets off the ground. Let's see... So I'm not gonna do any calculation. Booster rockets. Fuel tower. Gimbal monoprop rocket. Gimbal monoprop rocket sounds interesting. Oh, the monopropellant tanks seem to be clipping. Okay, well, let's... Oh, yes, let's put them on top. That makes sense. 
There we go. Gimbal not a prop rocket. Okay, so what? How does the decoupler look? Does it shield the thing or not? This is yeah. This is one of our decouplers. Oh no. Maybe. No, I was thinking. I wasn't attaching it right. It's got a lot of attachment points. To these things. But that doesn't seem right. So much attention to heat shield. Mod prop rocket decoupler. Okay, maybe that's... Okay, I, I can deal with that. So we've got this mod prop rocket and a decoupler. So we can just... Well, let's stage them properly for once. Now. Boiler tank. I'm interested in uh, testing out... So we want the steam rocket, maybe. So the steam rocket is like this. 400 thrust, horrible ISP. And steam rocket requires steam. Boiler tank. It says it requires steam and outputs water. I think that's got to be backwards, right? Or maybe that's... that. No, that's a tank. So maybe there's a boiler? Is there a boiler? Is this the boiler? Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Oh, we need parachutes, don't we? Do they have special parachutes for this thing? Endpoint, acid battery, docking port, cannon, barrel chutes, coach lamp. Oh, let's put lamps on. Let's just put them like that for now. Though I might want to replace them with parachutes if we have them. I actually don't see parachutes. Water, oh, water boiler. Here, this is what we need. Oxidizer, steam, water, whale oil. Oh, it still requires whale oil. Why not coal? I, I should mod this mod in order to just change everything to coal. Um, Alright. Requires all of that stuff. Wow, the steam... Steam rocket is powerful, but not particularly efficient in terms of how much stuff we have to carry up. Maybe we'll sneak another decoupler in here. Parachutes, parachutes. Did people in the Victorian era not believe in parachutes? Is that a thing? Okay, well, there's nothing for it. I'm not going to let my Kerbal go up without parachutes. Ooh, those are huge. We don't need anything that big. Um, hmm. It's a very small capsule, actually, I guess. Alright, uh, I've made a decision. Instead of the escape rocket, we're going to have a parachute. Not really the most brilliant thing looking thing on the planet, but it's it's safer. Now, this decoupler doesn't really need to go at the same time as that. It should be like that. All right. So now what we have at the bottom here is a water barrel, right? And if we have a water barrel there, maybe this is the wrong staging. Since this uh, this rocket needs whale oil anyway, I guess we should start off with the whale ro oil rocket. Yeah, and just have a whale oil barrel. There we go. Need electric charge. How much electric charge does the pod have in it? 50. And this, well this outputs quite a lot of electric charge, but we should have a battery of some kind. 
Yeah, uh, it'll be part of this module. This is getting heavy though. Don't want an electric generator, that's too much. We just want a battery. There we are. Alright. So, whale oil decoupler. Fine. Now, water. Where's our boiler? Water boiler. Water, whale oil, nitrous oxide. Carries its own oxidizer. I'll put steam. So we need another whale oil barrel here. We need some nitrous oxide. And that'll output the steam. Guess we might as well have a boiler tank. And finally the steam rocket. What do we need this adapter for? Is there any part that's actually that big? Maybe these are future plans or something. Okay, um, so I don't know how this is gonna go. We have parachute, just one. We even have lights. I wonder if there's any sort of... Oh, well, you know what? Uh, in the good old days, they didn't uh, use launch clamps, they used these. Yeah. Not quite aligned right. Right. So they use those. That's good. Pod struts. Well, that's for more for landing. Why do I get the feeling I don't have enough girders on here? I would like better parachutes, by the way. That would be a good thing. Am I missing the parachute somehow? Parachute. Oh, barrel shoot. Okay, 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 okay. I was missing the parachute. All right. Forget that. Jeez, we don't need this thing. Barrow shoot. Oh, wow. How? I can't even see that. Where am I supposed to put it? Okay. Alright. Um, I can do that. Four of those. We still want the couple of top. Let's, let's get that launch escape thing. I wonder why it has so many attachment points at the bottom. Okay, well this looks like a serious rocket here. Let's see if it gets off the ground. Alright, that's it's time to test this out. Okay, we have a lot of resources here. Let's see now. Just a water boiler active oh oh it's it's already going um all right uh ooh. uh why is there this stage here uh well anyway we seem to be running out of resources so let's go okay we've got ignition and hopefully the water boiler is in fact generating steam wow it's really depleting quickly Okay. Uh, what throttle should we set if we want to... Oh no, we're, we're going down now. Uh, not going down, but we're losing velocity. 
And Kerbals do not believe in losing velocity. So I think we need some more... I don't know, we need a lot more of everything. Uh, though I don't think this particular rocket can carry too much more mass. We're, we're going to be in trouble. So we should tone down how much water and nitrous oxide we have. Or, oh, okay, we're sputtering now. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just decouple and go for the next stage, shall we? Uh, okay, I think I am missing a resource for this. What is this? Nitrous oxide deprived. Okay, so this needs nitrous oxide. Okay, so noted. Yep, let's just keep the throttle up and... Let's go for the next stage. Yep. Okay, well this one works. It works, but it's not really slowing our descent much. I don't think it was really meant for this phase of things. Alright, well, we, we're going to start going up, but we're not going to get anywhere like this. So let's uh, accept the fact that we're going to descend. And... Yeah, let's go with the parachutes. Let's hope the parachutes can do their thing. SAS off. I should probably just not use SAS. Well, it depends. I mean, we've got the gyroscope and everything. And I guess Cogjeb. We didn't actually add Cogjeb, but I suppose Cogjeb would help. I don't think actually know the functionality of Cogjeb, actually. I don't know what that is and what it does. This is pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean, we're carrying so much monopropellant here and gunpowder. Actually, let's, uh, oh, that was a bad idea. Now we're going up. Oh, nuts. It was too powerful. I thought it's just slow our descent, but actually it's very, very powerful. Uh, I don't have any shoots for Jeb. Okay, uh, we're, we're not going to watch Jeb die here. Yeah, darn it. All right, uh, let's go to VAB and fix this up. So we've got lots and lots of problems. First of all, we're really carrying too much... I mean... We need a lot more boiler power, so maybe what we need is to slip in an extra boiler. Seems like we were just not boiling things enough. So let's add one of those. Next, I, I, I do want instantaneous staging, so even though it's not proper, we'll do that. And it looks like we need nitrous oxide in with the whale oil. Where's my nitrous oxide? Okay, so. Plus we need boosters, I think. I think boosters will be helpful. Those are heavy boosters considering the thrust that they give. But, but anything might be, might be beneficial. You know what, uh, dumping off the these landing struts would be a good idea. So let's see, what kind of decoupler does this come up with? Uh, radio rocket separator, okay. Wow, those are tiny. I'm almost afraid to use them, they're so small. Okay, like so. And then uh, we can get rid of the legs as well, That's that's good. Ooh, this is a hefty thing now. 
I think we need some nose cones. Okay. And finally, some struts, because if you got gonna add boosters to things, you need to strut them up properly. Now, staging. Those are decouplers? Really? Huh. Okay, well they decouple. Well, we sure don't need that ever. Uh, I don't know if these four will be sufficient to lift us up. Should be. Uh, let's see. They should be able to carry a hundred tons. Yeah, yeah, they, they should be sufficient. And then we'll, we'll stage like this. All right, I think this is this is how it's gonna work. Let's try this out with two boilers like that. Yeah. All right, at the launch pad. Okay, I'm running out of time today, so this is gonna be the last launch. Ooh, uh, th is this is this the activation of the boilers? Do you suppose? You know, we've got some steam stored up. So if it's not, uh, we'll we'll just activate them on the fly, maybe. I should have checked how much they actually output and did the calculation, but I haven't done any calculations for this rocket at all. So just for you to know. Uh, yep, let's go for it. Okay. No, they're not active. But we don't need them active yet, do we? Gunpowder. See, I should just gone with gunpowder all the way. Definitely. I mean, the ISP is not that bad. Yeah. Gunpowder would have been good. Better than all this whale oil stuff. Look at it go. Okay, well, separation was okay. Uh, let's get those boilers active. Still don't know what these sort of mystery stages are. Oh, well, it's looking much better now. Our steam is fine. So two boilers. Two boilers to do the trick. I wonder why we have oxidizer that doesn't deplete anyway. Okay, steam rapid. I guess we can't get it into orbit on this one. The steam really depletes quickly once the boilers run out of water. Okay, that's first stage out. Let's see if the second stage works. Oh, right. Okay. Let's see how things are going. Uh, right, let's coast to per uh, apoapsis right now. Let's not, uh, I guess, I guess the thing to do would be to go for the moon, right? Let's say we'll be able to get back, but hey. We're certainly not going to land on the moon. We don't have a lander. But, while we're here, let's go all Jules Verne on this thing. I think that's sufficient. The the burn you're seeing here is just a uh, orbital burn. This one requires another 819. But I have no idea how much delta V this rocket actually has. 
This is seat of your pants rocketry right now. Well, I'm glad this one worked out because I certainly wouldn't have been able to have the time to do this otherwise. All right, let's go. Jeb looks really funny in his little spacesuit in the corner there. Oh, I should check out... Well, the IV view is the same. The barrel capsule is the same as we had on the airship. Oh, should have brought some science, shouldn't we have? I wonder where all this stuff falls in tech tree. Obviously, I'm using it in sandbox, but it should be tech tree integrated, right? I wonder if... I mean, there ought to be a special tech tree for this particular mod. You know, uh, actually, there should be a special tech tree for this mod plus the bargain rockets mod. Uh, if you've uh, seen that mod, some some of the other YouTubers have featured it, and I forget who. I guess I guess it must have been Scott Manley, right? But uh, yeah, so bargain rockets with the cardboard boxes and everything. Sort of a different time frame, though. That's that's more of a more of a later development. This is more Victorian. If this mod actually gets expanded more than it has, and I, I'd love it if uh, we could get sort of a tech tree for this thing. After all, uh, while we normally think of rocketry as something to do with the 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond, uh, the the real imagining of all this occurred. There's the moon. During the 1890s, during the late Victorian era, right? That's that's when you've got Jules Verne, you've got H.G. Wells, you've got everybody thinking about this sort of stuff, and those and then subsequently inspired Robert Goddard to do his rocket experiments. So, so this is a homage to that era where people did have that sort of imagination. Oh, we seem to be a bit off here. Let's do an adjustment here. Ah, it's giving me one of those indecisiveness things. Oh, let's go for the free return, I guess. That takes a lot of delta V, though. But if we can get in the atmosphere, it'd be worth it. That's a little bit far up from the moon. But this is a good way to go. Do we have enough Delta V on this rocket, though? I mean, the Mount Papel rocket should be fine, too. Ooh, this thing has serious reaction control. I don't think I need the RCS ports with this. Okay. And that's, that's a thing. Uh, it really should have very little reaction control. It, it just feel a little bit better if it was hulkier and more more in tune with that era where things turn slowly. Okay, that stage is out. Let's see how far we got. Oh, it doesn't really want to tell me. Could be one thing, could be another. I guess we're gonna have to go out there to find out. Well, let's just ditch this stage. Uh, I think we've... There we go. Alright. 
Let's continue. Oh, what the? Oh, I hate when that happens. There's just no way I can figure out whether I've got one orbit or the other. Normally, the thing to do here is always to... Let's, well, now we've got this one. I was going to say to assume that you've got the worst option, but... Right. Which charge seems to be holding up even though I don't know if we have... Well, this is stock, so we don't have too many drains on it. Sort of portraying us as making a right turn here. Uh, no, left turn. But, uh... I, I assume that's not actually what's happening, right? That would be pretty amusing. Okay, I'm gonna have to skip over this transition. And here's what it says is really happening here. Moon periapsis. I'm not gonna do too much here. Let's just bring him back. Where's the moon? There's the moon. So let's bounce around. Oh, we have lights on this thing, don't we? Not particularly powerful ones, though. Well, maybe they're actually really illuminating something off to the side, and I just angled them improperly. Okay, moon sort of getting ready to cover up the sun. Kerbin still lit there. And the sun returns. Use our craft slingshotting its way around the moon. And we are now departing. Jeb has made it around the moon and we are returning back home, but let's try and dip into Kerbin's atmosphere a little bit more. So obviously I'll uh, leave you, the viewer, to attempt to land on the moon with this particular mod pack. I'm going back home. Very much so. Okay, let's take, take this out. Whoa, our electric charge is suddenly depleting. Um, what is depleting our electric charge? Let's take off SA. Oh, the, the lights. The lights are really serious stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, it's just the lights. Okay, here we go. There's Kerbin. Let's go retrograde. Wow, too much reaction control. Didn't even really use the mop prop engine. Maybe we could have gotten to Duna or something. I'm going to burn off this rocket right now. As we approach periapsis, and it'll drop us I'll drop our orbit a little bit. And that's good because I won't be tempted to use it later. Okay, that's that used up. Really? Wow, lots, lots of power in that thing. Gunpowder. Never underestimate gunpowder. Well, we really don't need the service module anymore, do we? Uh, these should not be staging at the same time. I expect we will be re-entering and landing without any problem. This should be sufficient drag. So yeah, let's dump the Moprop engine and the service module, including the acid battery though, 
and the gimbling. Well, once you're in the atmosphere, yeah, I guess we can go with that. Oh, I hate when I press spacebar and stage and I don't get the result I expected. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's time up a bit. Still carrying a lot of monoprop though. Hope the parachutes can take it. Our electric charge has been depleted. I should have transferred the electric charge to the pod before decoupling the acid battery, battery but I forgot about that. I think we can still release the parachutes. I hope we can still release the parachutes without the electric charge as long as Jeb is in the capsule. Okay, parachute deployment time. Okay, yes, we were able to deploy the parachutes. What do they look like? Oh, they're just uh, very white. Okay. Still feeling a bit heavy here. Mm. Oh, bit of a tumble. Misjudged the center of mass on this pod, plus its escape apparatus. Uh, 11.5 meters per second is very quick to be falling. I normally try to keep it below 10. Jeb seems happy though. If I could dump the mop propellant fuel, I would. No real way to vent it. This is not the orientation I was hoping for. Wow, that was loud. Okay, but uh, Jeb survived this time. And so, yes, I think on that note, I will uh, I will sign off. Uh, so this has been Professor Phineas Kerbenstein's Wondrous Vertical Propulsion Emporium. And uh, the link will be in the description for the forum post. And there you'll see all the mods that it needs and all the information you could ask for. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.